Hello, I'm Dr. John McDougall. I'm a medical doctor. I take care of real patients. I also run the McDougall program in Santa Rosa, California. One of the uh, common problems that I see in my patients is uh, people who have narrowed arteries to their heart. That's right, the heart arteries which supply the blood to the muscle of the heart, they get plugged up. They get plugged up through years of atherosclerosis, we call it, blockages. And those blockages, we know what causes them. It's a rich Western diet full of cholesterol and fat, a diet centered around animal foods like chicken fish, beef, pork, cheese, yeah, various dairy products. These are the foods that make the arteries sick, that injure the arteries, that cause the arteries to have a response of forming atherosclerosis. So after decades, it doesn't have to take a lot of decades, I mean there are young men in their 20s and 30s that already have significant blockages, but after you get enough blockage what happens is you get low blood supply to the heart muscle. Well, the answer to that, ask any cardiologist, is to do a catheterization and just pop those little blockages. They do it all day long. Never heard a single cardiologist have this done. Of course, there have been many patients who have been hurt seriously by having it done. Yes, this procedure can be indicated in chronic coronary artery disease. If you have symptoms like severe chest pain, then it might be worthwhile to go in and have those blockages opened up. But the truth of the matter is, is this surgery, whether it be angioplasty, angioplasty with stents, or coronary artery bypass surgery has not been shown to save lives. Why? Because it's not those big long-standing blockages that kill, not that hard atherosclerosis that kills. What kills is a little tiny pustule that pops in the artery that may lie a couple of inches away from or just next to one of those hard fibrous plaques. Those little pimple pops and you get a blood clot forming and that sudden formation of a blood clot due to the rupture of that little tiny volatile plaque, call it a pimple, is what closes down the artery and causes a heart attack. Well the instrumentation we do, the surgeries, do not address these killing lesions. They address the big hard fibrous calcified plaques. Well knowing that, if you get into trouble or one of your friends or relatives gets into trouble and you have a chance to sit down and talk to the doctor, look at the doctor, look at that cardiologist right in the eye and say, I have coronary, coronary artery disease, chronic heart artery disease, been going on for a long time. You guys have done millions of these, in fact you do a million a year, you've studied hundreds of thousands of patients who had this procedure done. I'm looking you right in the eye cardiologist, right in the eye, and I want to ask you, do you have any evidence that doing angioplasty or bypass surgery will reduce my risk of death or improve my quality of life. And if the doctor's honest with you, the doctor will tell you the truth. These surgeries are basically failures when it comes to improving survival. Again, you can relieve symptoms. As a better informed consumer, you can make better choices. I'm Dr. John McDougall. Thank you for listening.